Hello, welcome back to Journey to iOS blog. In this uh, short video, I'm just going to show you uh, a quick little workflow that I have um, using iPad and iPhone. These two are currently using uh, two different Apple accounts and I'm using the Apple sharing feature to share the, the notes between um, iPad and iPhone. And I, I found this to be really handy. Notes is actually getting a lot better these days, um, especially that now you can actually put a um, like link images and also all kind of uh, drawings. So I'll show you real quick. If you look at the that icon right there on the bottom left, that looks like a windows. If you tap on it, you will actually can you can see all kind of uh, image media drawings and then also the website link that you already put in into the notes. That's actually super handy. Um, I'm I'm using Notes app a lot um, for my own research, and the nice thing about Notes is that they they all link it to to, uh, to the Mac OS as well, and then also I can share one Notes into other my other devices. Uh, sometimes they are under the same account and it syncs automatically, but sometimes they are also using a different Apple account, and you see that these guys. The note is always like um, saving itself every few seconds. You can see it's updating on the right. And let's say if I'm uh, on the iPhone, I, tr I start it, like um, jotting around, like adding some drawings and it should update automatically on the iPad as well within like few seconds. And that's kind of nice. Um, of course you can add a lot of, uh, you know, like things like, for example, you want to add some website link, like, in this case, Blender.org. Blender is a uh, really awesome open source 3D software and I, I highly recommend it. And let's say you have like a bunch of link that you want to visit later on the iPad or maybe like a YouTube, uh, YouTube link or whatever. You just put it on notes like that while you're on the go and then maybe later on when you get home you can switch to your iPad or to your Mac and then you can continue from there. And in this case, okay, the iPad doesn't show up as a link, but we can always like, let me check I think if I, oh, we can always like copy paste anyway. So copy. And the nice thing about iPad is that um, you can use gesture. I use this all the time. So the four fingers, or I think it's a three or four, I, I'm using four fingers and you can switch to Safari and you can paste it, the link, paste the link right there. Um, the nice thing also, you can also use four fingers because I'm using iPad Air, this is the old iPad Air. Um, I don't have split mode, uh, but what I can do is uh, I can just simply copy the link like that and then use four finger gesture to paste the link. So this is really handy. You can go switch back and forth between the two. Let's say you have like this image of the Ultraman monster. Oh, I, I really like this monster. So I, I can copy it and then use four finger gesture, go back to the notes and paste it in there. Hold tab and paste it. So it's gonna update automatically on my iPhone as well. So that's how um, kind of like a pipeline pipeline that I kind of get used to. Um, this is very useful for if you're doing a lot of research and when, when you're done with, you want to work on the desktop, you switch to the Mac, you know, like um, continue working and the notes will be available on on the other account as well. If you sync it, you, know, you, you just share and sync it using that option right there. And you can always also like uh, lock the notes if you like. Uh, for privacy, that's very handy as well. Yeah, I found this like the if you have the iPhone, the iPad, and then the Mac OS, this is kind of workflow that I like to use. And oh yeah, one more thing. If uh, let's say I have this uh, this Blender link, and I want to create a link, I normally can easily just tap on the arrow right there, and then share it into add it to the notes, and you can pick up. Pick which notes you you have uh, already. Uh, this one, and then save it. It's gonna save as link. 
Um, if I'm not wrong, map also works with it. Um, so very, very handy features. So now if we go back to the notes, it should update uh, with the link down there. Let me check quickly. There you go. That's the link from Safari. So link um, and image media works. And if you have like a multiple image like this, you can also, if I'm not wrong, you can turn it into thumbnails. If you have a lot of image, hold it and turn it into small images. Yeah, that's also very handy tips right there. So yeah, link very handy. Map is also working uh, with notes and it's gonna sync across your devices. So hopefully you find this useful. Um, just a small little tips is a, uh, it's uh, something that you can use as uh, yourself. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.